what I hope to do in this video is give ourselves some practice at critically looking at how folks manipulate polynomials. And the reason why this is useful is because it's useful to be able to do this to yourself as you manipulate polynomials to say, wait, what did I exactly do there? Or a lot of times, if you're reading a math or a science book, they're going to do some proof or something like that. And they're going to say, oh, well, you know, it's obviously from this step to this step. And you're going to try to follow it. And you're just like, well, does that make sense? So it's a really useful muscle to be able to see, like, does do these steps or how whoever manipulated the polynomial, does it make sense to you? And especially if it's you, it's super useful to be able to find if there are errors. And to correct them, it'll just give you a better critical eye for this type of thing. So let's just start with this one. We have 4x minus 3 times x minus 2 squared, and it looks like this person over five steps tries to expand it out. And so what I encourage you to do: pause the video right now and see if they did it correctly. And if they didn't do it correctly, try to identify on what step they messed up. All right. So assuming you've had a go at it, let's do this together. So as we go from the first expression to the second to step one, what do they do? Well, they just expanded out x minus 2 squared. x minus 2 squared is just x minus 2 times x minus 2. They haven't done anything to the 4x minus 3 yet. And what do they do in a step? So that seems correct. So in step two, they looks like they're just trying to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 2. So you have x times x, which would be x squared. You have x times negative 2, which would be negative 2x. You have negative 2 times x, which would be negative 2x. And then you have negative 2 times negative 2, which would be positive 4. So it looks like they multiplied this out correctly. So step 2, we're, we're still doing good. All right, now what do they do in step 3? And this whole time, 4x minus 3, they haven't really touched it yet. So they're just trying to simplify it. And all they did is they added these two middle terms. Minus negative 2x minus 2x is going to be negative 4x. So this still. This still looks correct. The x squared didn't change. The plus 4 didn't change. They just added these middle two terms. Now as we go to this next step 4, well now they're trying to multiply, they're trying to multiply these two expressions. So they're doing some algebraic multiplication. So let's see if we can figure this out. So we have 4x times, let me do this in a new color. I'm getting bored of that magenta. All right. So we have, we have 4x times x squared which is indeed 4x to the third power. Then you have 4x times negative 4x, which is going to be negative 16x squared. So they did that right. Then you have 4x times 4, which is going to be 16x. And they wrote that right over there. Then you're going to have negative 3 times x squared, which is negative 3x squared. We see that right over there. Then you're going to have negative 3 times negative 4x, which is going to be positive 12 x and they wrote negative 12x so they forgot they saw me they saw a negative negative but they still put a negative there negative 3 times negative 4x is negative times negative is going to be a positive positive 12x so they made an error here and then they said negative 3 times positive 4 which is indeed negative 12 so this part is right so the error this thing should read positive positive 12x so the error they made is in step four. Step four is the error, and then that ended up giving them the wrong answer here because they did a minus 12x instead of, if this was a negative 12x, then negative 12x plus 16x got you this 4x, but we know it's supposed to be plus 12x. So it really should be, it really should be 28. This should be 20, this should be 28x right over here. But they really messed up. If you, if you take that error, they did the step right. But step four is where they actually made the error. So let's keep going. Let's give ourselves a little bit more practice at, at looking at ways to manipulate polynomials and see if they're valid. So here, and this comes from an exercise on Khan Academy. Let's see which of these are valid identities. Which, are, which of these are valid statements? So this first one, 2x plus y times 4x, 2x plus y times 4x minus 2y is all of this business right over here. Let's just multiply it out. 2x times 4x is going to be 8x squared. 2x times negative 2y is going to be negative, negative 4xy. And then, let me switch colors, y times 4x is going to be plus 4xy. And then y times negative 2y is going to be is going to be minus 
2y squared. And so let's see, these two, did I do that right? Let's see, 2x, 2x times negative 2y is negative 4xy. And then I had 4x times y is positive 4xy. So these two are going to cancel out. So this is already, this is looking shady. So all we're left with is 8x squared minus 2y squared. If we factor a 2 out, if we factor a 2 out, it's going to be 2 times 4x squared minus y squared. So this is, this is not a true, this is not a true statement right over here. Now let's try this one. n plus 2 squared, n plus 2 squared minus n squared is equal to this. Well, what's n plus 2 squared? That's going to be n squared plus, plus 4n. It's going to be 2n plus 2n. It's going to be plus 4n plus 4. And then we're going to subtract out an n squared. These cancel. So you're going to have 4n plus 4, which is equal to 4 times n plus 1. So this one right over here works out. This is a true, I guess, in the language of this question. It, it, it is a valid identity. Or you could say it's a true statement. This equation is true. And then we have this last one right over here. And once again, let's see if we can multiply it out. Let me go down here into the black space. So if I have a times 2a, that's going to be 2a squared. And then a times 1 is going to be plus a. And then if I have b times 2a, it's going to be plus 2ab. And then finally, if I have b times 1, it's going to be plus b. And then out here, and then out here we are subtracting a b. So over here we're going to subtract a b. These characters are going to cancel out. And then we're left with 2a squared plus a plus 2ab. And it looks like they factor out an a, so let's see if we can factor out an a ourselves. So if we factor out an a, we're going to be left with this first term is going to be 2a. It's going to be 2a. This right over here, if we factor out an a, is going to be plus 1. And this, if we factor out an a, is going to be 2b is going to be 2b. And that's what, exactly what they wrote over here. They just wrote in a different order. a times 2a, 2a, plus 2b, plus 2b, plus 1, plus 1. So this is legit. So hopefully that gave us some good practice. It, critically looking at whether people are making valid statements. And this is going to be the most useful to figure out if you are making valid statements. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that.